I have an original uh, GDS file and one that I've modified. How can I check to see what's changed between these two layouts? This video shows how to use a script to perform a dual database comparison from the command line. I'm running a script to perform a caliber dual database uh, XOR comparison. I can look at the summary file to see which layers have changed. Here are the input layers. Here are the rule check results. I have results from just one rule check, uh, layer 11. For those times where I just need to check to make sure that only one layer in the database has been changed, then this might be all the verification that I need. I'll list out all the files uh, that have been used so far. So I have the rule file that was created by the script. I have the script itself, uh, the GDS files, my original and the modified. The XOR.ASC file, those are ASCII results that can be viewed in Caliber RVE if I want to see uh, detailed uh, visually exactly where the changes were. You could open a layout editor, bring up Caliber RVE, load the ASCII results and scan through them along with the layout. Click inside this red box if you'd like to bring up a video showing those steps in detail. The uh, XOR.GDS file I could also open in a layout editor and visually see where the differences were found. And then I have the log file, XOR.log is the transcript from the uh, dual database run. And the XOR.summary file we looked at a few seconds earlier. I'll show the script I used uh, to perform this database XOR. It does two things really. Uh, first, it creates a rule file using the dbdiv capability and then it performs a caliber uh, hierarchical uh, DRC job. Now this uh, version of the script is, is very basic. The file names and cell names are hard coded in. It's something a bit more advanced would probably be more useful. Here's a modified version of that script that provides uh, for arguments to be used uh, for the layout file names and layout cell names. And here's how that script might be used. Uh, simply uh, type the script name in, uh, followed by the uh, first uh, GDS file name and the cell name relevant to that GDS file, and then the next uh, GDS file name and the cell name for that GDS file. So that's my example for database comparison from the command line. Hope you found it helpful.